Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Haruna and Happy New Year! Uh, did you do anything fun for Christmas? Or did you get anything cool for Christmas? Let me know down below. Uh, I got a new camera for Christmas, the Fujifilm X-A7. So hopefully you can see that the video quality is a little bit better. I'm getting a new microphone as well. It will be ready in a couple of days. So the next one, the sound quality will be better as well. Now, since it is New Year, I'm opening January's Japan crate. This is like a monthly crate with sweets and there's usually a drink in as well. Um, and I'm really, really, really looking forward to this. Uh, I know they have, they have a couple of different ones. They got one with uh, food, like noodles and stuff like that. One with like kawaii stuff, like stationery and plushies. Um, but I'm very fond of Japanese sweets, as you probably saw in my previous video. So, let's open this bad boy. All right, let's open this bad boy up. So, first of all, we'll have a little look at the box. Every single month, the box looks different. Obviously, uh, the little fireworks and the flowers and the darumado uh, are all representative of the new year. Uh, so are the colors, obviously. And we got the outline of Tokyo Tower, for example, a shrine and Mount Fuji. Fuji always comes in to this. It's obviously one of the biggest landmarks in Japan. So let's have a look here. It looks very pretty. Every month you get one of these. It is difficult to do with one hand, apparently. Come on. <laughs> so here you can see and read about every little bit of what you get in your box. I'm just trying to bend this backwards a bit so I don't have to hold it. So you get a little bit of information. I have the premium box. You can also choose original and mini. Um, so with the premium box you get, sorry about the glare, you get everything. And this this month's bonus is a Kit Kat sparkling wine with strawberries. Uh, I'm guessing it's gonna taste like Prosecco and strawberries. That'll be quite interesting. Um, so let's have a look. I'm gonna put this on the side so I can read next to the crate. Now, first up, we have, I'm gonna start in the middle. We have super sour lemon. And when, when the Japanese say super sour, they mean super sour. I'm almost a bit afraid to try these because they're going to be super, super, super sour. They do have, they do seem like they have some extra vitamin C, which is quite normal for even for actual sweets in Japan. So let's just focus a bit here. Thank you. Um, but yeah, this is uh, going to be a proper lip pucker. Next up we have looks like a fish um it says fuku fuku tai so i'm guessing it's supposed to look like a fugi fish or something um it's a bit crunchy and in the uh pamphlet it says inspired by traditional takiyaki served at food festivals in japan this fuku fuku tai fish shaped wafer is an unusual snack made by Meito. It consists of monaka wafer on the outside and air bubble chocolate on the inside. Uh, this edition is especially for the new year, so it brings luck. This I'm looking forward to. I love, love, love wafers. So uh, it's, it's the color kind of says strawberry, but it's not. It says chocolate or chocoreto. But this is going to be very cool. Um, definitely going to give this a try afterwards. So, what do we have next? We have triangle shaped cracker vegetable flour. Obviously, it's there are some vegetables on here. I don't know if you can see them. Hello? Focus. No? There we go. There are some vegetables on here. Uh, so there should be like wafer crackers. Look more like nachos, but we'll see what they're like. 
Next up we have these. These caught my eye the second I opened this. It is, it says, Mochitsuto Pudding. Sorry. <laughs> Mochito Pudding, um, which is mochi pudding flavors. Um, my partner absolutely loves mochi, so I'm sure I won't even get to these. I might have to eat them before he gets home from work. <laughs> so next up we have this fella. This is from the guys who make Umaibo, um, the little uh, corn sticks with different flavors, which we are very, very fond of. But these are Umaidama chocolate puffs. I've actually had something similar to these before in Japan, but they weren't quite puffs, they were a bit harder. They're quite, I can feel that they're they're quite soft, kind of like a profiterole. I'm sure that'll be nice. Anything that ja the Japanese makes that are filled with chocolate are amazing. So next up is Chocolate Elise Amau Strawberry. So I'm guessing that these are supposed to, these are supposed to be like pockies or I can't remember what they're called, but they're like reversed pockies. Uh, these look like they have filling inside as well. Uh, I'll probably give these to my partner because I'm not that fond of everything strawberry. But I'm sure he will enjoy them. They look very, very nice. It's quite a big package as well. So next up we have gummies. Candemina gummies grape and soda oh, grape soda i guess wondering if these might be a bit sour um because candamina has mostly only sour candy they're soft just like the gummies in my previous video but i do love the grape flavor so i think this will be quite nice but i have a feeling is it going to be quite sour again the japanese love sour candy but luckily so do i All right, so sparkling wine strawberry Kit Kats. These are actually, they've changed their packaging. This packaging is actually uh, paper. Before um, any Kit Kat I've had up till now, the packaging has been plastic, but they are trying to use less plastic. Japan is horrible when it comes to using plastics. So I'm sure that's what they're trying to do. Now, not the biggest fan of sparkling wine but since there's strawberry in there and it's white chocolate I think they could be quite nice so next up is mochan dango these are uh, little dangos they're kind of similar to the mochi they're a bit like sticky but these are much sweeter because they're coated in sugar as I'm sure you can see I love dango and dango is um, a very very traditional Japanese sweet is like a dumpling um, that they have around New Year's um, I'm definitely looking forward to eating these I haven't had dango in a couple of years because I haven't been to Japan for New Year's for two years now last time was in 2018 so I really miss dango obviously these are not real dango they're chocolate dangos or sweet dangos but still I think they're gonna be lovely I'm looking forward to eating those so next up, Crayon Shinsan Color Ramuna. Now these are going to be like little Ramuna candies, like from the uh, my previous video. Um, this is uh, Crayon Shinsan, which is a very very famous Japanese manga series. If you, ha if you haven't checked it out, do. It's quite um, it's it's supposed to be for children, but it's really really fun. Uh, it has lots of little cute things on it. I might have to save the box just because it's really, really cute. You can hear them, hear them inside. Uh, I'm not quite sure what flavour they'll be. Um, probably be a little different flavours. Um, but let's give them a try. Also, if you noticed, I have a scratch on my hand because I was grading uh, carrots the other day and wasn't paying attention so pay attention in the kitchen next up we have animal soft candy DUI this is probably going to be like uh, almost like cotton fluff or something um, these do-it-yourself ones are really 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 fun uh, not always the best 
tasting candy, but they're really, really fun to make. I actually have a little assortment of these do-it-yourself candies, so I might actually make a video where I make all of them and taste them. What do you think? Do comment down below if you think so. All right, we only have a couple of ones to go, so I'm gonna go for the drink. There's always a drink in these, and I was really lucky a couple of months ago where the drink was my uh, partner's favorite Japanese coffee. Now, this is uh, Boss Energy 100 milligram, I'm guessing it's 100 milligram caffeine or something like that. Uh, Boss is a Japanese coffee brand. Um, I had no idea that they actually made energy drinks as well, but just from looking at this, I'm getting a I'm getting an energy rush. Uh, I did read online, I did see it when this came out in Japan because I have some friends that tried it out and it is what we in England would call gut rot. Uh, but we're gonna give it a try. It is boss after all. Lots and lots and lots of extra stuff in there. Can't be worse than other energy drinks. What do you think? It's always lots of little cute extra candies. We've got uh, like a pop pop. Candy. I'm guessing it's like a little black fish. That sounds a bit scary, doesn't it? Um, and little black extra sweets. This is a cola ball. Just little cola gummy. And slot chocolates, as it looks like. One of those old gambling machines. We don't have them anymore around here. Uh, but they always chuck in a couple of little ones, just because, you know, it's fun and Awadama candy apple flavor. This is just a little hard candy and apple flavor. I do love apple flavor, so that one is gonna disappear very, very quickly. Now, what we have left is my popcorn Kanafuku Mentaiko flavor. And this is, this is gonna be very, very strange. Mike is quite a famous um, brand in Japan. Uh, but it is a collaboration between Konefuku Mentaiko and Mike, known for their um, Mentaiko products. Um, this edition also has authentic Mentaiko flavor using Konefuku. Uh, Konefuku. Uh, can't even can't even pronounce things anymore. Konefuku is Mentaiko. That was a slight spiciness for a delicious and savory taste. So it's gonna be a tiny bit spicy. I don't think I've ever had spicy popcorn. That will be very, very interesting. The last one is cheese musho. Now these are going to be like potato flakes, creamy and sour with creamy mozzarella cheese and lemon. Now, I'm always afraid to open this up because I do love lemon. But what does lemon and mozzarella have to do on chips? I don't know. I don't know. So, that was everything that was in the box. Now, let's hop back. So, I really hope you guys enjoyed getting a little sneak peek into my January Japan crate. Crate? Um, I'm gonna really enjoy eating the rest of these sweets. As you can see by the time I almost finished this video, it almost got dark. So I'm gonna take the rest of the evening and enjoy my sweets before I edit this. Um, I am not affiliated with Japan Crate in any way. I just love their stuff and it's where I need to go to get my Japanese candy fix. But having had these crates getting random sweets every month, I've actually found a quite a few sweets that I didn't know that I would like. Um, so next time I go to Japan, I can buy them! Uh, obviously for a much lower price, which would be really, really nice. Anyway, do give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Comment something down below if you have any questions or any suggestions of videos you want me to make. And please, please, please subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye!